Next slide. This brain imbalance toward one brain hemisphere or another, this is slide number seven now, is the goal and the dream of the dominators of this world, of the occultists. So I want to just tell you a brief story. When I was involved in Satanism, and I was attending Satanic rituals at different locations, largely in Pennsylvania and Maryland, some of the higher level Satanists, or what you might call Luciferians, I don't know if they were that high up in the hierarchy, but people who were like, you know, whose house the ritual was at, or, you know, friends, good friends of them, or people who were coming in to uh, be a guest and, a, 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 you know, witness the activities of the grotto, were, were telling people that they were very influential in the publishing community for the New Age and telling people, wait until you see the information. And I'm talking about, we're, we're talking about here the um, mid-1990s. The mid-1990s. Telling people about all the books and all the information that they were going to be publishing and peddling through the so-called New Age movement. And they said, we're, we're behind this. We're doing this because it's pushing people into the form of imbalance that we want to push them into. I didn't understand it at the time because I was still in their minds. I was still in the mini-me satanic mindset. This form of Satanism that is pushed to the the uh, the public. Again, it's a recruiting center. It's a, it's re, it's recruiting grounds for psychopaths, for people who have psychopathic tendencies. Which at that time, yeah, I would admit I did have tendencies toward becoming a secondary psychopath. My brain was messed up before I was able to heal it, and. They were telling some people in you know side conversations after the ritual because somebody brought up you know what New Agers think and believe, and openly telling people we're responsible for a lot of that material. We're putting it out there, and I believe them because they said, "Wait until you see what will be coming out in the next few years." We are going to give people completely erroneous notions of the laws of attraction. We're going to give people completely erroneous notions of how people create their reality. Because they know how this works. They know natural law. They know how it works. See, these are people who are so hateful of the fact that natural law exists. They look at it. Their worldview is, we're in a prison because we can't do whatever we want unchecked completely. We want to be able to kill, rape, pillage, murder with no consequence to us at a soul level or even in the physical domain. No consequence. That's their goal. Their goal is we want to be God. We want to be the creator. They're trying to usurp the position of the creative force in the universe by taking down natural law and replacing it with their law. That's what the Luciferians and the Satanists are attempting to do. They want to topple natural law. And they're actually very successful and very close to being able to do that. Which is why I don't underestimate these individuals at all. And I have respect for them as an enemy. And so should everybody else. Because they're the most intellectual people walking in the world. While I wouldn't say that they have true intelligence, so few people do, on either side of the, the spiritual battle. Um, they are very intellectual and very well-read individuals and they do understand natural law. They know that it's in place and how it works. And that's why they're trying to insulate themselves from the consequences because they're trying to become God. And they do that by getting other people to carry out their behavior for them. They don't actually do the action. And therefore the karmic brunt of the consequences is not theirs. Again, people need to understand who bears the brunt of 
moral culpability, the order giver or the order follower. Well, these Satanists, more likely than not, never actually did physical harm to someone else. They're getting other people to do that dirty work for them. And hence why they call the military and the police their dogs, because they're on the chain and following the command. They'll sit when they tell them to sit, they'll speak when they tell them to speak, eat when they tell them to eat, attack when they tell them to attack. Therefore, they consider them their animals, their pets. They, they're two phrases that Satanists in my presence, when I was involved with this, called the military were our pets and our dogs. That's it. Never referred to them as military men, military women, never referred to them as the armed forces, never. Our dogs never said the police department, the police forces, the law enforcement officers, never once referred to them as any of those things. They called them our dogs because that's what they think of people who do that, that job. They are our order-following dogs. We have them well-trained. And also told me, you think you're going to tell people and they're going to accept that from you? They said if we came forward and told them that we're their owners, they wouldn't accept it from us. That's how perfectly programmed they are. And they're right. They were right. I can admit when I w I'm wrong. I'm telling you, they told me exactly what the truth was. So in a way, I don't really have a lot of built up anger and resentment and hostility toward them. Okay, because they are honest about what they're doing. They're very honest. It's a lot different than a person who says, I think I'm doing the right thing. And yet they're, do they're carrying out the work of these psychopaths, these madmen. I have a lot more bitterness and resentment against those people because they have the gall and the audacity to say they're doing something that's right. And they don't know the first thing about right. To somebody with a totally black, sick heart that wants to do evil and is telling people the truth about how they're doing it, I actually have quite a bit more respect. As, as, and, and guess what? I don't really care what you think about that. I don't care whether you think I'm wrong for thinking that way. I can respect that level of unity in consciousness. So I don't have a lot of ill will against them or want to see anything bad happen to them because they're not the ones who are doing it. <laughs> they're not the ones taking the action. The police are. They're the ones who are following these lunatics' orders because they're in a state of chronically imbalanced brain hemispherical action. They're both imbalanced in the left and the right brain because the, the police want to follow orders. That's right brain imbalance. They're imbalanced in the right brain as well as the left. Their brain's just totally destroyed. They want to be somebody's master, but they're someone else's slave at the same time. And that's what evil really wants. They want everybody to be a master and a slave simultaneously because they just want the perpetuation of master-slave think in one form or another. They want the perpetuation of slavery. So these people told people in these grottos that we are going to be putting forward tons of deception. We're going to flood the market with deception about these concepts so that people can't discover the truth about them. And they did it. They didn't just say that they were going to do it. They did it. And I'll bet you they threw a lot of this information right into people's hands and say, here, put this out. This is what people want to hear. You'll make a killing. You'll make a ton of money doing it. They were behind it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed a lot of these New Age gurus who write all this crap that they write, they're not even really writing it themselves. They've been given the idea, like a planted a seed, and then, you know, the the the... Dark occultist steps back into the shadow after giving them the idea and then they pen, pen the, the deception. That's how it works. But they said that there would be a huge massive influx in New Age thought that was a total deception telling people erroneous notions about how the laws of attraction work and how basically creating your reality work. And people have swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. And they need a, a hose and a funnel to shovel it down the gullet fast enough. 
That's how naive these people are. Which it always makes me laugh hilariously when people call me a new ager. I don't know what you're listening to. You're in the twilight zone or something. You know? You know what it is? It's it's what I call the five second commenter. They watch five seconds of a video clip about something that I said, immediately related in their mind, have never listened to one podcast in its entirety. And then, boom, let me make my ill-informed comment from this completely erroneous thin slice because I don't have a brain that recognizes patterns. So I'm going to actually look at this tiny little five-second or 30-second thin slice and I'm going to say I know everything there is to know about everything this individual has ever said and call him a new ager as a result. It's a bunch of clowns. A bunch of total clowns who don't know how to think. And think they know something when they know exactly nothing. So let's move on.